guys, this is Devasis and you are watching C programming tutorial. In last video, we just covered all the basic and fundamental things of C programming like for loop, while loop, do while loop, switch case statement and go to statement. Okay. In this video, we covered topic function. Okay. So what is function? How to use function? Uh, we see in this video. Okay. So let's start. In this tutorial, you will be introduced to function both user defined and standard library functions in C programming. Also, you will learn why functions are used in programming. Okay. So, what is the definition of function? A function is a block of code that performs a specific task. Okay. So, we use this function to perform a specific task uh, repeatedly okay suppose i have a car but i don't know how to drive the car okay so i appoint one driver okay so whenever i call that driver it drive this car and reach me to that place okay so similarly the function work in this way okay suppose you need to create a program to create a circle and color it okay so you can create two function to solve this problem okay so first function is create a circle function and the next function is create a color function okay so first first work i have to do that to create a circle for creating the circle i create one function that function create the circle and i create another function that function color that circle okay so dividing a complex program into smaller makes our program easy to understand and reuse okay so we use the functions uh, basically to reduce the code complexity and to compile the code easily okay so next type of function okay there are two types of function in c programming that is standard library function and user defined function okay so next standard library function what is standard library function the standard library function are built in function in C program. Okay, so the standard library function is basically the built in class of C program. These functions are defined in header files. For example, that the printf is a standard library function to send information output to the screen. Okay, printf is a uh, standard library function that basically used to display any message in the screen. Okay. So this function is defined in the stdio.h header file. Okay. If we want to display anything initial state, we have to include the standard library function that is stdio.h header file. Okay. Hence to use the printf function, we need to include the stdio.h header file using include stdio.h. Okay. The same thing. The square root function uh, calculates the square root of number. Okay. So basically whenever we wants to calculate the square root of any number we put the sqrt function that make the calculation of square root of that function okay so in order to use the square root function we have to define at the initial state the header file that is math.h okay so all the mathematical function are mm, already predefined in the math.h header file okay so this is standard library function next user defined function okay the another part of the function is user defined function so you can also create function as per your needs okay in programming sometimes it's need to create a function for our use or to reduce our complexity so in this time we use the user defined function okay so you can also create this function so these functions are created by the user so basically user defined this function on so the name is user defined function how user defined function works okay so here is the syntax of user defined function at first we include the header file that is stdio.h and here is the body of this function okay so how we define the function at first it is the type of function or function type it may be integer type void type or character type whatever you want okay so I put here void type and here is the function name uh, you can use any function name here so I use the function name only and we put on parenthesis inside this parenthesis we can create the variables to use in the function but it is not necessary or mandatory okay it is uh, up to you 
so okay and then we put one second bracket inside the second bracket all the functional tasks is uh, performed here okay next we put the main function inside the main function whenever we need to call the function we just write the name of this function okay so in this way it just go back to the function and perform the specific tasks and give the result inside the main function so i hope you understand the syntax of user defined function next the execution of the c program begins from the main function when the computer encounter the function name okay so control of the program jump so whenever it execute the function name inside the main function it jumps to the functional body okay and perform all the operation void function name and compiler start executing the code inside the function okay after jump to the function it just compile and start executing inside the function the control of the program jumps back to the main main function once code inside the function definition is executed okay so after executing the operation inside the functional body it just return the value to the main function okay i hope you understand how this function work so, so how function works in c program okay so i just explain you how this function work we just declared the functional body part here and uh, here is the main function inside the main function whenever we need to perform the uh, operation we just call the function by its function name okay so it just jump to the function and perform all the operation and executing the statement inside the function and give the result after the operation okay this is the syntax of function uh, here is one notable thing that function names are identifier and should be unique okay so it should be equal whenever you call this function and whenever you declare this function advantages of user defined function the program will be easier to understand maintain and debug okay we create one function that should be easy to maintain and debug also because uh, whenever we create one function and another user use that function it should be easy to understand in this way they can maintain and debug also next reusable ports that can be used in other program a large program can be divided into smaller modules hence a large project can be divided among many programmers okay so in this video we learn what is function function definition the types of function that is standard library function and user defined function okay what is standard library function and what is user defined function syntax of user defined function and how the user defined function work how we call the function inside the main function okay and get the result to the main function okay advantages of user defined function okay so i hope you understand all of these things if you have any doubt please comment below i definitely try to solve your all queries and questions thanks for watching my video please like this video share this video and please subscribe the tech team thank you